Hello again, it's Crystal, an independent Sensi consultant. Uh, today's video will be on my warmers that require bulbs. So um, I've got some here to show you today and um, I hope you enjoy. So the first one I want to show you is called the Etched Core Warmer. It's currently available in, oops, sorry, in the catalog. I've got it right here. Now it's been available for a while. If you see the cord comes out the back. Takes a 25 watt bulb, and then there's the dish. Now I will show it to you lit up. Oh, hang on. There we go. And that's the etched core warmer. Now I do uh, have a video that I will be uh, uploading um, dedicated to this warmer. Um, specifically, and there's a reason why. Um, since he used to sell wraps uh, to go with this one and another warmer like it, um, and they no longer sell the wraps, although you can find them in the clearance section and sometimes on uh, flash sales. So if you'd like to see that video, I will link it down below uh, so you can see the dedicated video on the Etchcore warmer. Now, uh, another warmer that I have is a new one. Um, it's actually uh, June 2020 scent of the, uh, sorry, scent, warmer of the month. It's called Summer Nights. Okay, this one is gorgeous. Now, uh, this one here, I also have a dedicated video to, if you wanted to watch it, I'll link that one below as well. So if you see here, it's a nice, looks a little purple on screen, but it's more of a, I guess, dark blue with some purple in it. And take off the dish here, it's a nice blue dish, I got wax in there. And this one here... So this one here, what I wanted to point out is the cord in the back. Now this is one thing that bugs me with some of the Scentsy Warmers is you'll see here they've got a notch etched out for the cord. The cord actually comes out the bottom and you have to line it up with the notch and then set it down on the table. Otherwise it's going to sit on the cord here and it'll wobble which I don't like. I, I don't see the point of uh, having that extra step of making sure it's in the notch. We shouldn't even have to worry about that. I feel like it should just come up the back and, you know, there'd be no issues regarding that. Now, this warmer here, like I said, is a new one to me. Um, my oldest daughter uh, fell in love and requested it for her bedroom. And actually, my I have two girls and a boy. The two girls share a room and uh, my son has his own room. So here is the Summer Nights Warmer. Uh, it's a 20 watt bulb in this one. All right, so here it is lit up. You see there's beautiful stars coming out. Now, like I said, this one here is the June 2020 warmer of the month. It will be available starting June 1st for the entire month of June. Um, I believe a regular price is $59, but for the, the month of June, it'll be 10% off. Um, so there's that one. And it should be available for six months um, once it's released, unless it sells out first. Um, all right, so now my next one. It's called the Free to Fly Warmer. Now this one here is, um, I'd say, purchased within the last couple months and has quickly become one of my favorites. Now it caught my eye in the catalog just for the look of it alone. So I'll start here. It's gorgeous with the blue and the butterfly. Now it casts off what they call a glow. There's the holes in the back, so it will glow but it's not one of those super, super bright ones. And this one here, just like I like, cord comes right out the back, so don't have to worry. Takes a 25 watt bulb. There's the dish, nice large dish, I like that. And now I will light it up and show you what it looks like. See the holes? The light comes out the holes, but 
the warm itself still gives off a nice glow. And this is the Frida Fly Warmer, still currently available in the uh, catalog. And the second last warmer that I have is no longer available in the catalog. Um, I have seen it pop up in the, some flash sales and in the clearance section, so keep an eye out for it if you're interested. It's called the Fluted Gray Warmer. And let me just get here. Now it gives off a nice sheen iridescence and again it's got that notch so you got to make sure the cord fits through the notch and the dish it's a it's a 25 watt bulb with the, the dish here now this one let lit up is bright um, compared to the other one But it's still beautiful. And that's the fluted gray warmer. Um, now all these warmers so far that I've shown you have um, had 20 or 25 watt bulbs. Now, when it comes to the 25 watt bulbs, uh, since he does sell colored bulbs, um, and uh, they're $3 a bulb, I believe um, they come in green, yellow, red, uh, purple uh, is no longer available. Hopefully they'll come out with purple permanently in the fall winter catalog. Uh, maybe some other colors as well would be nice. Um, so you can always put the colored ones in any of these warmers. Uh, whether it's if you want to go by season or just to spruce it up, the colored bulbs do fit in. The only thing about the colored bulbs is they do not come in three packs. Maybe that's something else that Sensi will come along with come fall, winter. It would be nice as well. Um, so the last warmer I have to show you is called the Country Light Lampshade Warmer. Now, I've noticed that Sensi, I think, is um, starting to back away from these type of warmers. I have my theories why. Um, I did own another one uh, like it with the, the lampshade and um, I've actually passed that one on to a friend. Um, I'll show you why they call it a lampshade. Now here's the base of the warmer. See it comes up the back. Scentsy. I really like this look. If you've uh, seen our cord concealing warmer stands, um, there's the uh, birch one that looks like uh, wood. They're just nice and I find this kind of looks like one of those cord concealing stands. And uh, the bulb is different than what I've shown you because it's in a 40 watt Edison bulb. Uh, these are, um, I believe, uh, don't quote me, I can't remember. They're pricier than the regular bulbs and they do not come in a three pack as well, uh, which also would be a nice thing if they did. Um, now, the reason why they call it a lampshade warmer, I don't think it matters which side. I'm supposed to put this over top of this one here. Now, if getting close here what I really like about it's got the bubbling effect but you can also see little bubbles in the glass and I find um, it makes me think of you know um, now this may date me uh, when you're a child maybe not anymore but you play with marbles I find this reminds me of marbles and it's got that country farmhouse look to it and then it is topped by a nice, thick dish. And I really like this dish. Nice and thick. So, together, it's nice and sturdy. And I will show it to you lit up. This one here is still currently available as well. It's in the catalog. So, I find it gives off that farmhouse look. Now... Put that one down. 
Now, I think the reason why Essency is backing away from these types of warmers, um, I've had guests come over who aren't um, too familiar with Scentsy, and they will see my warmer sitting there, and they'll say, oh, how beautiful, and they'll grab it from here to pick it up, thinking it's one piece, and the dish has fallen, spilt wax everywhere, broken. Um, also, if that it's happened before with the, the wax, here I'll show you, in my older warmer that I passed on to the friend, that happened, the wax had dumped inside, and then, I'll show you inside, this ended up getting coated with wax, and then because that ended up getting coated with wax, even if I let it dry first, once I would sit this one on top, being on it for a while, being on and off, it would eventually kind of stick. So when someone would go to grab it, it would come up like it was one piece and then put, fall and drop and it's... So that's my reasoning why I think maybe they are um, backing away from that style of warmer. Personally, I prefer just, oof, like I said, the two piece, simple, open, pop your bulb in, Put the lid on, or the dish, sorry, wax, and you're good to go. Anyways, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, those are my warmers. Um, I do have another one coming. It is on back order, though. Uh, maybe I'll do a dedicated video to that when it comes in. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.